So I got this pile of clothespins right here on my desk, and that got me thinking. What if I built a lure from these clothespins? So that is what we were doing today. Check this out. If you take apart a clothespin, take this spring off, whatever this thing is, this clip, right? So now you have the two pieces of wood. If you flip over those pieces of wood like that, what does that already look like? A lure that is like meant to be. You cannot, I mean, that's perfect. Besides the hole and these little cutouts, I mean, you cannot get any better than that. So we're gonna make a lure today and I think it's gonna work. We're already halfway there. <laughs> so all we need to do is glue these pieces together, add some weight, a few line ties. I already cut out the tail fins here. Attach that right in here and we have ourselves a freaking lure. That simple. I did cut out two tails, so I'll probably be making two of these lures. But I kind of want to use a spring on one too. We'll see. I think I think I can come up with a few ideas for this guy right here, but again, we'll see. But that is our plan for today. There's a hole right here already. I could make that hole a bit bigger, and that is where I add the weight to this guy. I could turn this into a jerk bait. Add a lip to it. Again, these are not symmetrical. This one's thicker than that one. But it's not gonna matter. Not to me. Does it matter to you guys? Probably, some of you. Not to me though. All right, I'm gonna start with cutting this out, carving it, which might split it and destroy it, but we got way more clothespins. So I ain't too worried about it. I wonder what clothespins are made from. Clothespins are pretty strong. I don't feel any flex in this wood. I'm gonna have to Google what they're made from. If I did that right, this tail should just slide right in there, no problems. And if I did it wrong, we're just gonna force it in. Dang it, how off is it? All right, that is why I thought these clothespins felt pretty hard. They were made from a hard wood ash lumber. So, made from ash, which is a really good wood, <laughs> surprisingly. I'm surprised these clothespins are made from such nice lumber, but they are, so. Man, I have so much more respect for clothespins now, knowing they're ash. I'm gonna glue these together, and I'm gonna glue it together with the tail fin in because it's still not perfect. There's still a little bit of a gap there. But I tried, okay, I tried. I just can't get it. to carve the edges. I feel like I'm already really far into this lure build and I feel like I haven't done much. I mean, the shape of the clothespin is pretty much the shape of lure, it's insane. Like I said, meant to be. All right, I'm gonna start carving these edges down. I really thought about just keeping it like this, keeping the shape of the lure, but I wanna round it off. I'm debating like filling in these gaps, but I kind of want to keep them. Just so like you still know it's a clothespin, you know? If I hide all this, you might forget that it is in fact a clothespin. All right, there's all the edges carved down. I'm gonna round her off. All right, so I'm gonna add some weight to this guy. This is going to be the top, so I need to drill the hole in the bottom. And I'm just gonna start where this hole already is. 
I don't want to go all the way through because I want to have most of the weight on the bottom of the lure so it sits upright. I got a quarter inch drill bit because that matches the size of this weight. The drill bit is a hair bigger than the weight so this weight should drop into place perfectly. All right, so there's the top, there's the bottom, and this weight should slide right in there. So about that much weight is going in this lure. Kind of tricky since there's a hole on the other side. Don't want it all to run out. got that weight sanded down. I'm gonna go ahead and seal around that weight. And now I can fill this hole right here. Fill it with baking soda. I'm gonna go ahead and fill up this tail gap back here and back there as well. Okay, so I got all the little gaps and cracks all filled with super glue and baking soda. Got it all sanded down. It is nice and smooth, looking good. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the line ties drilled out. All right, the eyes fit in the little sockets. By the way, I'm only doing one treble hook. I'll explain why. Whenever I put this in the sink, it fell nose first. It kind of just stood up just like this. So I was thinking this could be a lure that I could bounce along the bottom. So I didn't want a treble hook right up here to get caught on the bottom or get caught on anything. So, one treble hook in the back, and that's it. All right, so here is the lure, all sanded down looking good. Still looking like a clothespin. I grabbed a few colors, and I'm gonna start painting. So here is the paint scheme. I'm not exactly too happy with it, but it's something. I'm gonna go with it. Well, let's add some eyes to this real quick. The yellow eyes kind of help it, but I just wish the gray was more chrome. I will go order a chrome paint right now after this. Again, I'm not too excited about the paint job, but it'll do. Let's go ahead and get this out clear coated. Another windy day. 
All right, so like I said, guys, this action of this lure is going to be dropping straight down on this nose. There it is. So I will pop it up, and then we'll head straight back down, nose first, and then kind of just sit there on the bottom. We came out here on the boat, and as soon and as soon as I get out here with the boat, the freaking wind picks up. So we went out to our spot and didn't see any fish, so we're just gonna call it. All the boats are coming out. They're all pulling out right now. It is cold and windy. It sucks because it was pretty nice all morning. But I was finishing this lure. But guys, here is the lure. It looks pretty sick in the uh, sun. That gold is sparkly. So, looks pretty cool. Uh, Not bad for a clothespin. Cast her out there, Davey. You better reel in some, son. Look at that splash. Thanks for the first cast, man. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> uh, this sucks. Made. Right. It works, but fishing sucks today. Of course, every day, windy. Cast like a dream, though. I know, it does. You can put some weight on this one so you can get it out there. Huh? Yeah. All right. Freaking chill. Yeah, let's <laughs> get, get warm. Let's get out of here. It's freaking cold. What a waste of time. No biggie. We'll try again some other day. Look guys, I came out here prepared to test out this lure here and also test out the lipless crankbait finally. And it was calm all morning. Get out here. And the wind just picked up. Fun, fun. I really am trying to fish with these lures, guys. It's just these weather conditions are not right. But one of these days, we'll get out here on the boat and I can test all of them. I tried today and the wind said, nope, not happening, buddy. Not happening today. But made another cool lure, another cool lure for the box. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.